and we're back for what I believe to be episode 40 of Triangle Strategy question mark. Last time, I think I think last time was the episode where we did the Tellier battle. Sorry, I'm recording this after I made that uh post where I said I was gone from the internet three weeks ago. Or I mean, I've been gone from the internet for three weeks now. So it's been a while since I've last recorded or done anything. And I'm also kind of sick right now, unfortunately. So my voice is kind of rough and also talking in general is rough for me right now I was <laughs> sorry I was gonna wait until I got better to record but we got a we got a whole bunch of gaming news uh, in the last couple of weeks and my backlog of games has just grown so long <laughs> that I just want to get triangle strategy done at this point so I just watched the new update cutscene true ending stuff they had and I'm gonna add that on to the um, true ending episode uh, but from here on out I'm gonna try and finish this episode, get up to, I think, chapter 16 is the one where we have to record again, because that's the one where we have the next branching path. Yeah, ch no, chapter 13. Then we got chapter 15. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna do that and hopefully get Triangle Strategy done <laughs> soon enough. Please, God, let this end. I love this game, but it's been almost a year now since we've been recording this. And I haven't played any new game since then. Well, actually, I lied. I did play one new game. I played, uh, well, not new game. Uh, I played Dragon Quest Builders for Switch because I've had a niche to play that game for a long time. And I finally got to play it for like, <laughs> I played it for three days before I went on my training to the mountains for three weeks. Uh, so right now we're in the chapter where we have find evidence to convict uh, Sorcely of his, you know, misconduct or whatever. I think I already have, well, I think during our first attempt of this, uh, during the second route, I had all the evidence, but I gave the wrong answers to the... Whatchamacallit? To the... Whatever his name is. No, Eidor. There you go. I gave the wrong answers to Eidor, so I couldn't get the, um, the right battle for this or whatever. I'm gonna see if hopefully I don't have to go through the process of talking to everyone again and getting the whole information thing. Because I just don't want to do that right now. I just want to get into the battle already. So let me save and see what happens. If we do have to redo that, I'll just cut that out and jump to the uh, questions again. What news? Sourcelay is shrewd. He'll... Nothing can remain hidden indefinitely. Benedict is right. Let us review what we note. Lord Serenoa, what does the evidence at hand? Let us begin with... Oh, sorry also in advance. Uh, I might be coughing <laughs> throughout this video. I'll probably cut it out, but... You know, just in case uh, something slips by. He bribed nobles right under our noses in Glenbrook. He bribed nobles right under our noses in Glenbrook. How could I have been so blind to his dealings in the upper echelons of my own kingdom? Oh, that's how you say it, echelons. Though we know this to be true, I doubt we'll build a worthy case now that Esfrost rules the Crown City. If we cannot secure the help of the remaining saints, We've no choice, but doing so will require incontrovertible proof. Uh, he kept a secret ledger. Claris said Sorsley kept a secret ledger. Of course. Making detailed records a necessity. I've no doubt this ledger exists. Now then, let us focus on where we might find the... I guess the vanished cargo ship? Yeah. So, we'll find the vanished cargo ship. How do you propose we find something that vanished without a trace? Suspicious as it is, we'd best search elsewhere. Might the bribe Sorsley ply Glenbrook's nobles with be connected to his illicit dealings? We know the ledger tracking the tainted salt exists. The vanished cargo ship is suspicious, yes. But Despite our best efforts, I'm afraid we haven't evidence enough to confront him over his crimes. And Sorsley will find us out soon enough, if he hasn't already. Time is of the essence, then. What is our next move?
Though we lack proof, we'd best raise the issue with Camsel once more. I feel like I did that wrong again. Gosh darn it. Ugh, please don't tell me I did that wrong. And the Shadows of Suspicions completed, okay. Serenoa and his retinue know House End is involved Gosh, in the Gosh darn it. Trade. Okay, from what I can tell, it seems like we already got all the information we need. So I don't know what the heck is going on right now. What news? Let's skip all of this. Um... Unless I gave the wrong answers, which is possible. He sold illicit salt. Oh, I think this is the one that, that I answered incorrectly. Okay, sorry about that. I was looking at the I was looking at the wrong thing in the guide. <laughs> sorry. Okay, that was just a, a me Why being would you dumb. Mean source lays encampment. Precisely. Not the one at the Citadel of the Sands, so far from the source. Right here, in the capital. I know its location. So, in brief, source lay sold illicit salt, constituting a breach of trust with the Hierophant. House End kept close watch over the transactions and labored to keep them hidden. Meaning there is a second ledger, the incontrovertible evidence we require. Said ledger would most likely be found at the end encampment, near the source. Then we shall sneak inside and secure it. Never forget that we operate on reasoning and supposition. Should our presumptions prove untrue, we will be judged accordingly. I understand, but the future of House Wolfort is at stake. I will not see us fall to ruin through inaction. Okay, we finally did it. <laughs> the Shadows of Suspicion completed. I don't know why I struggled with that so much. Oh, I, I guess I was just being impatient. After learning at last where they can find solid evidence to prove Sorcelay's involvement in the illicit salt trade, House Wolfort moves to secure it. Chapter 10, Part 2, The Carelessness of Man. Okay. Oh, what does it say to? Hello. What is this? You also got a new, new side story. A letter arrives for Sorcely, who awaits Serenoa's return. Damn that Wolfort! He ought to have returned by now. He is more useless than I thought. Minister Sorcely, a letter's arrived for you, but it is unsigned. You know better than to bring me messages from anonymous providence. M my apologies, Minister, but it seems to be some sort of warning. Oh? Let me see it. Your new pet is nothing but a mongrel stalking his prey. He has put down your most loyal hound and seeks the treasure you've so carefully hidden. Heed this warning before it's too late. My new pet. Walford. What could it mean? I doubt it is anything but a trick meant to frighten me. Still, it never hurts to be certain. Summon Booker. Lord Booker has... has yet to return. What? 
My loyal hound. It couldn't be. Make for the capital at once and find out what has happened. I shall be right behind you. Hmm. Interesting. So I know I looked for evidence of Source Lee's clandestine cl 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 dealings. Okay. Let me say it real quick. Oh, that's what it was. Uh, new information arrives for Camsil, Minister of Domestic Affairs. Let's take a look at this. So, House Bulfort is making their move. Yes, Minister. They seek information about the salt as we speak. Should they not be stopped? After all, they are sticking their noses into our most precious secret. Leave them be for now. This may be a good opportunity to sift the impurities from the salt, as it were. That said, we must be prepared to act at a moment's notice. See it as so. Of course, Minister. At last, House End will be brought to justice. House End is only the beginning. I will not rest until we root out all who dare threaten Hyzant's safety. Interesting as well. Okay, back to the main things. Let's review the flow of the salt trade once more, just to be certain. As far as Hyzant is concerned, it begins when the goddess bequeaths her blessing upon the salt. The Hierophant then decides how much is produced. House End oversees said production and is also responsible for sending the salt to the Norzelia Consortium. And that's the official supply the Consortium regulates. Yes, production records and consortium records are readily accessible. The very existence of illicit salt implies there will be discrepancies between those records. Supposing House End keeps track of those discrepancies in some sort of secret ledger. Then that would be irrefutable proof that House End is purloining salt. But a hypothetical ledger does us no good. Then we must steal into his encampment and find it. That is the only way we can prove Minister Sorsley's transgression. I agree. However... <laughs> You've become quite the radical, Lady Frederica. I was just about to say... I apologize. My suggestion was quite untoward. Not at all. In fact, it heartens me that you were the one to propose such a course of action. I'm in favor. We must use any means to get that ledger. Alright, uh, any side stories? No again. Yeah, nothing. Okay. To secure the secret ledger, Saranoa decides to slip into the end encampment. I really wish it was <laughs> House Ende and not he House End. Because somehow Ende sounds more fitting to me. Also more goofy and fun, I don't know. Ooh, nice and creepy dungeon. But I kind of like it. Nice aesthetic. Who goes there? I feel like it would have been a good idea to give Anna Swift and considering you see her constantly one shot units, although she can't really do that. Inside easily enough, but now the true trial begins. Everyone, spread out. We must find that ledger.
Could this be it? This is the date Anna researched. Then this must be the amount of salt produced and the amount supplied to the consortium and the discrepancies between the two all noted here. This is it, Sorcelay's secret ledger. Plainly stamped with House End's seal, no less. Even his silver tongue won't be able to explain this away. We're lucky he's just as meticulous with his criminal dealings as his official ones. Swindlers expect to be swindled, my lord. I expect he kept these records because he didn't trust the others not to try and skim off the top. How ironic they'll be his very undoing. Intruders, halt! None but Minister Sorcelay himself may touch that ledger. Oh, are we not gonna fight Sorcelay? I thought we were gonna fight him, but seems like not. Added secret ledger to notes. Oh, I gotta read this. Before I forget. <laughs> oh lord, are our units gonna be split up again? I feel like they are. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks to the Tellior battle. Secret ledger. XX day of XX month. Actual production projected output. At 13,000. At 13,000. Consortium delivery. 12,900. Earnings, 100. XX day of XX month. Actual production projected output. 12, uh, 12,850 and 12,900. Consortium delivery, 12, uh, 12,700. Earnings, 150. Note, several Roselle casualties. Production stagnate. XX day of XX month. Actual production projected output, 13,610 and 13,300. Consortium delivery, 13,300. Earnings, 310. XX day of XX month. Actual production projected output, 13,007... Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to speed through this. 13,780 and 13,200. Consortium delivery, 13,200. Earnings, 580. No, extended working hours. Production on track to recover. XX day of XX month actual production projected output 14,020 and 13,100 consortium delivery 13,300 earnings 720 XX day of XX month actual production projected output 14,260 and 13,200 consortium delivery 13,200 earnings 1,060 nope Dealt strict punishments for failing to meet projected output. Successfully increased production. Hmm, okay, nice to know. Got to see more of that Roselle in abuse, so that's... Uh, that's one. Okay, we got Ana recommended. That kind of makes sense. Eridor recommended, also kind of makes sense. Milo recommended, I guess... Well, Milo's always good, so yeah. Lionel makes sense. Uh, Picoletta, okay, I'm, 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 I'm questioning that one. Uh, what are we dealing with? Okay, so the party is split up. We had a we have a whole group over here and a whole group over here And the only exit is through this tiny space right here. I Think I'm gonna put Kohog just because he can reposition everyone actually let me take a look at the enemies first Okay, so I'm guessing you're the big bad boss. You got blind sad. That's that's gonna be super fun. Minus is always fun. Restrain, lower an enemy's movement by one for three turns, that sucks. Uh, we got some bow users, some wall jump people. Okay, that's whatever. Two bow people, another wall jump. Three bow people, more wall jumps. Four bow people, five bow people, and one healer. Okay. The main scary things right now for me are the bow people. Everything else should be fine. Uh, we don't got any mages to worry about, so we can really put as many tanks as we want. So I might as well put on uh, Flanagan. My shield is impregnable. Actually, Flanagan isn't that useful since, well, he has high enough defense where I think the bow user still can't deal that much damage to him. I can't put 
Well, I can't put Huet on, but she's probably gonna die to the bow users. I'm gonna put Decimal. Just because I love him. Uh, should I put another... Uh, well, I haven't even put a heal on. Uh, so let's put... Let's put Jesus but of on. Course. Actually, no. No, yeah. No. If I made your approval. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do anything else? Let me take a look at the party. We didn't put any mages on this team, so that's... That's unfortunate, but... I might take out Flanagan, actually. No, actually, Flanagan's good. We don't have a ton of damage dealers, though. The only damage dealers we have are Ana, Saranoa, and Milo, really. Although, Eridor does decent damage, so he should be fine, I guess. I guess this is good. Let's just see what happens. Okay. This is gonna be a weird match, to say the least, but I think we should be fine. I think. I hope. Okay, so the plan right now is to have Flanagan try and travel all the way over here to try and protect these guys so they can hopefully escape this dangerous situation. We also got Picoletta over here so she can hopefully use a decoy and distract these guys. We got Eridor here so he can hopefully take care of these guys quick enough to, you know, not have to worry about them too much. As well as Milo so she can hopefully, I don't know, charm them or something. We're gonna have Lionel try and come down here and then possibly help them. If that doesn't work out, sorry I had to cough. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to send him over here and try to help these guys out as well, because they're definitely gonna need help with all of this mess. I think I'm gonna send Anna down here to try and take care of these guys as well. And I'm gonna keep Decimo around this corner, I think. I didn't give anybody items or anything, so <laughs> let's see what happens. I could definitely do make this easier on me by just putting on Medina, but eh, I'm having fun right now. Commence the battle. The Battle of House End. The battle begins. They think to trap us here, then we must cut our way out. Don't let any of them escape. Wrap them up all nice for Minister Sorsley. Yes, sir! Take care, my lord. It would be easy to let oneself get surrounded in this chaos. Of course. I'll get this leisure out of here one way or another. Oh, I forgot about wall jump. Okay, this is bad. Um, I didn't want to use Kiei2's points for this, but I'm probably going to have to. Okay, uh, let's just use Light Wave and get you out of, the, out of this mess already. I think here should be fine. Yeah. As for you... How much... I think I'm gonna have to use some more creators right now. Let's use Fleet Footed. And I'll also use... Uh... Hmm. I was gonna use Birds of Prey, but I don't think that's a good idea anymore. So I'm just gonna use Bulwark on myself and Let us steal our try to survive.
Ants poison. Don't let them escape. Minister Sorcelay's done for if that ledger gets out. I'm pretty sure that Thief had the same voice as another character we've heard before, but... Eh, whatever. I just wanted to mention that, <laughs> sorry. like we've had their ranks. The ledger must be damning evidence indeed for Source Lay to have stationed so many guards to protect his encampment. Okay, this battle wasn't too difficult. I was kind of expecting reinforcements to appear, but at the same time, I'm not complaining that they didn't appear, because if they had, they pr this battle would have been probably a bit more harder than what it was. I mean, the main difficulty comes from, you know, having your units separated, but once you put them all together, there's a bit less of a threat. I did struggle a bit around this area right here because there were so many times when we came close to dying against the boss just because he dealt quite a bit of damage if, if I'm being honest. And he probably would have finished off Lionel had he gotten like a crit or something. Or you know, just two two rows of attacks. But we made it through. Uh, but yeah, the main scary thing about this battle was just the boss and the bow users I guess. The healer was slightly annoying, but you know, not incredibly so. It was just like, like compared to what the healers we faced before, <laughs> it wasn't too bad. My time just because come. it was, I'm guessing mainly because it was just, you know, just one healer. I won't stand for it. Lionel has arrived. I did end up wasting one extra large uh, HP pellet, which is unfortunate, but oh well, whatever. We're here. And we didn't even lose any units for once in, in a long time or now, I think. Let me try using Copycat. I just want to see what this looks like. Aw, would have been nice if she said, Whatever you can do, I can do better. <laughs> That would have been hilarious. Deal physical damage, uh... Oh, it took the place of copycat. Wait, did it? 
Transfer to copy the last of the copy to blues can only be used once. Okay. It's okay. So now we can use Mighty Shot with her for for one battle for one one time only. Suffer. Suffer. Victory is within reach. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Actually, I kind of want to see her use that, so let's do this. We must stay vigilant. Ready or not, here I come! Mighty shot. Deal physical damage to a single enemy. <laughs> How much damage would have this done, actually? How about a oh, that's cool. Oh, that's adorable. I love that. 100 damage isn't pretty, isn't that good, I think, right? But still, that was a nice, nice and fancy attack. Got quite a bit of money, so that's good. Okay, that's one more battle for the books. One more that we don't have to do ever again. We have the evidence we need. Now we must hurry to Minister Camsell. Not a step further, Wolfort. I am not so kind a master as to let betrayal go unpunished. You are no master of mine. Bastard! Give me the ledger or I will take it by force. So, that ledger is what all the fuss is about. Capsule! What are you doing here? This encampment falls under my purview! Indeed, but upholding justice falls under mine. Oh, Dear that's Minister, such a cool line. It's unfortunate that he has to die. I think the contents of this ledger most illuminating. Will I? I shall be the judge of that. Stop! Close that ledger! You have no grounds to pry into my affairs! Such unsightly behavior, Minister Sorsley. But you're too late. The Mongols already seized your treasure. Exam! You masterminded this plot! You... You two-faced cur! So, you were the one who passed me the information. I did what was necessary to protect Hyzant, but credit for this success must go to you, Minister Cancel. <laughs> well, this is coming with me. Seems we played right into his hands, I... Perhaps, but we secured Hyzan's trust nevertheless. That, I should think, is worth its weight in gold. Indeed, my lord. Now all there's left to do is await the Hierophant's judgment. Sorcely end, you will hear the Hierophant's judgment. Appropriating salt blessed by the goddess to fill your own coffers is tantamount to sacrilege. Therefore, Sorcely end, you are to make two sacrifices to the goddess in penance. The first is your position in the saintly seven. The second is your life. Wait, wait, please! I can explain. Forgive me. Have mercy. Oh, she delivered the punishment herself. Ah! Eh, he deserved it. With these sacrifices, wrongs have been righted. 
May the goddess be pleased. Is his body on fire or is that just darkness? Oh my gosh, was he Norded? <laughs> sorry, I just, sorry. <laughs> I feel bad for making that joke, but whatever. Um, I don't remember if the last time this happened. No, I don't think this happened last time. Last time, I think someone just stabbed him through the chest and it threw ending. And then after that, he died in battle against us when we didn't have enough evidence against him. Hmm. I like the different ways that uh, Sorcely and can die. It's pretty fun. You have our deepest gratitude. The carelessness of man completed. That same day, word spread throughout Hyzant of Sorsley End's demise, and that of House End along with him. Chapter 10, Part 3, The Reward for Betrayal. Okay, I think the rest of this should be the same, right? Okay, yeah, this is all the same as well. Okay, time to end off the video then. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It's probably going to be another one of the shorter episodes we have now, since there's not a lot happening in these... Uh, you know, like, couple chapters. Well, specifically this one, since we've already kind of seen most of it, but you know what I mean. And I guess I hope you look forward to next episode when I think we'll be, um... Oh yeah, we'll be doing, uh, Frederica's plan for invading Glenbrook. That's what, that's, that's what's happening next episode. Okay, I guess look forward to that. So far, the invading Glenbrook chapters have been the, like, the most interesting, like, branching paths, I think. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye!